Question number one, how many circles are there in the figure? So let's calculate the number of the circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the 8th circle is the circle of face. So there are 8 circles in total. So option D is the correct option. Question number 2. The picture shows 5 cubes viewed from the front. What is the view from above? So when we will look at it from the above, we will see 1 red square. Then 1 yellow square. And a blue square will be at the end. So option B is the correct representation of the given shape. Question number 3. Each ball contains 4 numbered balls as shown. In which ball is the sum of all the numbers largest? To find out the answer, we will add the given numbers in each ball. So for option A, sum of uh, 8, 7, 4 and 9 is 28. For option B, the sum is 26. If we add 7, 4, 7 and 9, the total is 27. So sum for option D is 24 and sum of the values given for option E is 25. So now we can see 28 is largest of all. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 4. Mr. Buer rearranges the pieces to make a kangaroo figure. Which piece is missing? So here we can see it's a tan gram which has five triangles, one square and one parallelogram. So in the given figure we can find out five triangles like one, two, three, four and five. Square is also present but this gram is missing. So option A is the correct option. Question number five, my boat has more than one circle. It also has two more triangles than squares. Which board is mine? So we can see in the first board there are two triangles, one square and two circles. In second option there are three triangles, two squares and three circles. In option C there are five triangles, three squares and one circle. In option D there are three uh, squares, one triangle and two circles. In the last option there are four triangles two squares and three circles. So according to the given information, the board has more than one circle. So it means we will not consider our option C because it has only one circle. So it has two more triangles than squares. We can see in option E, four is double of two. So in this option, there are two squares and uh, triangles are double of uh, the number of squares. So option E is the correct option here. Question number 6. This is my grandfather's birthday cake. A large candle stands for 10 years and a small one for 1 year. How old is my grandfather? Now each large candle is representing 10 years. So 10 sevens are 70 and each small candle is representing 1 year. So 6 ones are 6. Now we will add 70 and 6. The total is 76. So it means the age of the grandfather is 76. Option C is the correct option. Question number 7. Pablo puts 10 toy cars on this racetrack. How many cars are in the tunnel? So there are 10 uh, toy cars on the racetrack. But we can identify only 4 over here. So it means we are going to subtract 4 out of our total number of cars. So 10 minus 4 is 6. It means 6 cars are hidden under the tunnel. So option B is the correct option. Question number 8. Steven drives from X to Y. At each crossing he stops before going straight ahead. In total, how many times does he stop at a crossing? So when he drives so when he drive from the X, he will pass this crossing. So it's 1, then 2, here it is 3. After uh, driving through the circle, he will pass from this crossing again. So it is 4, 5th. Again, cover after covering this circle, he will pass from this crossing again. So it is 6. After that, he will cover this area. Then 7. 
from here he will go uh, at this crossing so it's eight nine after covering this uh, upper line he will pass from this crossing again so it is 10 from here he will go to the next crossing it's 11 and uh, from this place he will go straight to the y so 11 is the correct answer he will uh, stop at 11 crossings question number nine there are five trees in a park a beaver can see only two of the trees because all the others are hidden behind other trees at which of the marked points is the beaver standing if he is standing at point d then these two small trees are hidden behind the uh, first big tree and this this third small uh, tree is hidden behind the second big tree so he is standing at point d question number 10 there are 24 squares in the picture so it has colored some of the squares how many more squares need to be colored so that half of the squares are colored so let's calculate the total number of squares first it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 6 18 and 18 plus 6 is 24 so there are 24 squares half of 24 is 12 it means 12 squares should be colored and 12 uh, squares should be uncolored now let's calculate the number of colored squares it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we will see that 9 plus what is equal to 12 because 9 are colored but we need to color 12 squares so 9 plus what is equal to 12 it's 3 so we need to color 3 more squares to exactly color the half of the given picture so option c is the correct option here question number 11 the two tokens with the question mark have the same number what is each missing number so that the sum is 18 so first of all we are going to add the given numbers 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 now we will see that 12 plus what is equal to 18 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. Now we have to find out the half of the 6 because there are two circles uh, which have uh, missing values. So half of 6 is 3. So the value will be 10 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 that is equal to 18. So option C is the correct option. The missing value of each question mark is 3. Question number 12, Raha wants to finish the B on the left according to the model on the right. Raha needs to win points to unlock parts of the B. How many points does she need to win to complete the B? So here we will compare both the Bs. One antenna, eye, wink and smile of the uh, B is missing. So we will choose one eye. The point of eye is one then one antenna the point of antenna is three similarly the point of wing is four and uh, the point of smile is five now we will find out the total of the numbers it's one plus three plus four plus five is equal to 13 so option e is the correct option here 